the same is true today. Ndivyo ilivyo sawa sawa na leo. If you do not live do not live according to will of God, you can never end up in total glory of God. Kama atuishi sawa sawa na kile Mungu anachotaka, hatuwezi kuingia katika ule ufalme wa utukufu wa Mungu. If so, what what is it the will of God? Sasa kama ni hivyo, mapenzi ya Mungu ni yapi? Ni nini? And for you and me, God really wants us to become a spiritual, very, very spiritual person. Wapendo watumishu wa mungu wendangu. Mungu anataka tuwe ni watu wa roho ni watu wa chiloho. Why? Kwa nini? Only a spiritual, very spiritual person can end up having the eternal glory of God. Ni yule mtu wa chiloho atakayeweza kuingia katika ule ufano wa utukufu wa Mungu. Heaven is purely eh? purely spirit. Spirit world. Mbingu ni mbingu za kiroho, ni mbingu ya kiroho. So, a fleshly person who is living according to the sinful nature can never enter heaven. Kwa hiyo mtu wa mwilini anayeishi kwa kufata matakwa ya mwili hawezi kuingia katika ufalme wa utukufu. They will not go there because they have believed in Jesus anyway. Ndio hawataenda jehanamu kwa sababu wamemkiri Yesu. Mnyunyelewe vizuri. Hawaendi jehanamu kwa sababu wamemkiri Yesu. But instead in heaven they will be all thrown outside into the darkness forever. Mtu yeyote anayemwamini Bwana haendi jehanamu. Lakini kule mbinguni kuna sehemu ya giza sio ya utukufu au anatupwa kwenye giza la nje. So my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, you must make every effort to become a spiritual person as much as you can. Kwa pendwa, kwa kuishi wenzangu ngu, ninachosema fanya kama Bwana alivyosema, jitahidi kuwa ni mtu ambaye hufuati mwili bali unafuata roho. Now today you can see eh? many not spiritual pastors unaweza ukaona kwa wakati tulio nao wengi watungaji wanafuata mwili they have become already pastors even great pastors wengine ni watungaji tena wana majina kupita majina but actually they are very fleshly fleshly pastors lakini mambo yao yote ni mwilini 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 eh eh long money wanapenda pesa eh eh maybe keep control by the sinful nature wanaishi maisha yao ni watenda dhambi kama watu wa dunia wengine amen they have a they will be thrown outside in the darkness that's right That's like the man who received the one talent. How? What a two point kama yule aliyepokea talanta moja. That's like the man who was not wearing was not wearing the wedding thing, the wedding clothes. Ni kama yule mtu ambaye hakuwa na vazi la harusi. So my dear brothers and sisters from this time on You must make every effort to become a spiritual person, a spiritual pastor. Kwa tuishi wa Mungu, kuanzia sasa, kuanzia leo, hebu amua mwili usikutawale, wewe ufue mtu wa kiroho unayotawaliwa na roho. You must become a very spiritual pastor because because only a spiritual person can have intimate fellowship can have a intimate fellowship with the holy spirit lazima uamue kuwa ni mtumishi mchungaji ambaye uko rohoni kwa sababu ni mtu tu aliye mtu ambaye yuko hai katika roho yake 
anaweza akawa na ushirika na roho mtakatifu. A fleshly person cannot have a very intimate fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Mtu anayefuata matakwa ya mwili na matendo ya mwili hawezi kuwa na ushirika na roho mtakatifu. And only a spiritual person can be led can be led and can be controlled by the Holy Spirit. Na ni yule mtu ambaye yeye anaongozwa yuko katika roho yake inatawala mtu wa nje ndiye anayeweza kuongozwa na roho mtakatifu. And only a, a spiritual person can receive can receive all the heavenly things. Na ni mtu tu wa rohoni anaweza kupokea mambo ya mbinguni. And only a spiritual person can pray can pray those those spiritual prayer na ni mtu tu wa rohoni anaweza kuomba maombi ya kiroho your prayer must be spiritual a spiritual prayer unajua na maombi yako lazima yawe na maombi ambayo ni maombi ya mtu wa rohoni so you must you must Definitely become a spiritual person. Kwa hiyo lazima uamue kuwa ni mtu wa rohoni. If so, how can you become how can you become a very spiritual person? Sasa unawezaje ukawa mtu wa kiroho, mtu wa wa kiroho? And what kind of person is a spiritual person? na ni mtu gani ambaye yeye ni mtu wa kiroho? A spiritual person first of all, mtu wa kiroho kwanza, a spiritual person first of all is a very prayerful, prayerful person. Mtu wa kiroho kwanza ni mtu ambaye ni mwombaji. Any time any man mahali he can pray mahali popote sehemu yoyote anaweza kuishi maisha ya maombi amen any time any man he he prays almost automatically mahali popote wakati wowote anaomba kuomba kwa yani yeye anaomba ni kuomba pake si mzigo ni ma, yani ni, ni maisha kuomba ni maisha 